Goose on the Razzle, number 104 in the Abracadabra for saxophone book. It says waddling, so maybe about this speed. Just imagine a goose walking back and forth. Okay, so it's not too fast. Now what makes this piece interesting is we have the introduction of triplets. So I'm just going to play the piece first and then explain what on earth is going on. <laughs> triplets are introduced and I gotta admit that they haven't really given you a good piece to show off what triplets are all about and they did this in the clarinet book too it's just like a, it's a really hard introduction to triplets so triplets are three in the space of two in this case I've given you quaver triplets so you've got three quavers in the space of two quavers two quavers equals a beat we've got two beats to a bar two crotchet beats so imagine we're going the speed the waddling speed if we count something like pineapple, pineapple, or elephant, elephant, or if you're a Star Wars fan, Chewbacca, Chewbacca, or Palpatine, maybe Palpatine, Palpatine, anything with three evenly spaced syllables, you've got, you've got a triplet feel. Now, the time signature is actually two, four. So we've got this one and two and one and two and. So we've got to mix in the simple subdivision with these triplets. So in the case of Goose on the Razzle, or the Drunk Goose, we have one and a two and one and a two and or, because we're saying elephant or pineapple, pineapple two and pineapple two and pineapple two and one and two and. And that's happening throughout this entire piece. If you can maintain that kind of feel, you'll get the rhythm right. Uh, so it can get confusing because we've played a bunch of 6-8 time and 6-8 time is your you know, 1 and a 2 and a 1 but Goose on the Razzle is not 1 and a 2 and it is, at its core, 1 and 2 and and this is why the triplet feels important you got to be able to distinguish between the two so let's go from the beginning again Pineapple 2 and Chewbacca 2 and <laughs> Okay, so you can hear me pulsing out that crotchet to get those two quavers going so you can hear it. Ba da 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 do da 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 So you may also notice where I'm breathing. It just seems to make scenes to breathe before the fortissimo, you know, triple forte. Uh, it just seems to make for a better phrase shaping and then you can just drive into the next phrase. Okay, and at the end of that line we had the two triplets. So a Chewbacca, Chewbacca, or one and a two and a one and two and... <laughs> So that diminuendo bar, that third bar of the second line, they've inverted it. So rather than going pineapple two, and you now have one and pineapple one and pineapple da do dun 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 dun. <laughs> Tricky notes you might have to figure out. Don't forget that F sharp and the crescendo bar. So pencil it in if you need to. Uh, what else we got? You know, some slurs and some accents. Um, power outs and double, some triple four days. But remember, remember, don't don't treat your double triple four days like a brick. They do have an accent, so you want to hit them and fall away. You don't want to death metal to the listener or anything. You want this accent. You don't want to just be rah, the entire piece. You always want to back away when you've got those accents. You hit them hard and you fall away. And that is essentially Goose on the Razzle. <laughs>